Hello everybody and welcome back to a very sick Benjamin Magnus Plays Crusader Kings 2. Now I woke up this morning with a 103.4 degree temperature, so I'm doing my best to continue the content uh, uh, stream to you guys. I don't want to miss any days because the channel's been doing really good lately, so I'm going to try to keep at least short episodes going on a day-to-day -day basis until I get better. So these might be a little shorter, maybe 18-20 minutes, like I said yesterday. Uh, it all depends on how I feel as I go through this. Now last episode, we're actually going to unpause this. Last episode, these guys declared a holy war for... Uh, which duchy was this? Uh, Tripoli. Holy war for the duchy of Tripoli down here, and then I had a little rebellion right there. So we're fighting off, we have half of our army here and the other, not really half, it's not exactly evenly split. We have another section right over here. And these, this 1400 is my navy. It's a huge navy, and we are going to... Uh, now that we've got it all assembled, last episode we spent a lot of time assembling the men. I had basically everybody on one side of the emperor, empire go to Rome, everybody on the other side of the empire went to Constantinople. Okay, one of the eunuchs at the Imperial Court has distinguished himself and caught the attention of your advisors. Though they are usually of the jealous kind and loathe to admit redeeming qualities in others, even they cannot deny the promise of this young man. Alright, I could fetch him, or I could refuse to deal with him. Yeah, let's go get him. The eunuch is brought to you, and you can immediately tell there is a keen intelligence behind the young man's eyes. His loyalty to you is without question, and here's a man who cannot be seduced by the wiles of women, or turned against you by dynastic ties. Despite his few years, he has already won renown for his martial ability. It will serve me well. So, a eunuch named Bassiano, and that was the um, preferred name of my kings when I was uh, king of Italy for a while. Bassiano brothers, I think there was three of them, uh, appears in the court. So, let's actually see if we can appoint him as my marshal. Yeah, right here. He's an excellent marshal. So let's put these guys on my ships. Let's grab everybody. Merge them together. And let's see now. We need to wipe out these guys, so we're going to chase them down. I was thinking of having leaving this army over here to deal with these guys and then start ranging up the coast. And then I drop these 30,000 men over in here. That seems like the best thing to do for me right now. Please forgive my voice. I know yesterday it wasn't too bad. Today it's pretty bad. Today it's pretty horrendous. Let's uh, let's look for a good place to land. It has a, a good high supply. Well, um, none of these are really that great. Man, these uh, it's going to be hard to keep big armies together. Yeah, like... It, the, the limits are pretty bad, so let's actually let's split this army in half. Split in half. And then these guys, we're going to split them in half. We're going to take one, load them onto some ships, and then we're going to take these ships and let's land them. Yeah, let's... I, wanna do, I don't want to do anything crazy right now. Let's land them in Tunis here. Let's send these guys. Okay, what is it? What is the? Uh, I feel like I'm gonna have bad attrition if I just go ranging through here. It's not that bad. So let's have these guys go wipe out this peasant revolt here. I'll have this section of my army sieging. Actually, you know what I should do? I was thinking. What I think I should do? Split? No, not split in half. Merge these guys together. Let's embark them and let's put them like here. I want to. I kind of want to stay in North Africa and just siege down their land closer to mine. Keep my armies all relatively close together. They have a lot of troops. I just don't know where they are. Forty-nine thousand troops. Chariot races are scheduled to be held soon at the Hippodrome. Eight char charioteers from the traditional blue and green teams will be competing for glory on the track. You may choose to throw your weight behind one of these factions and bet on them in the show of in a show of support. Support the blues, support the greens, or I don't have time to waste. Let's support the blues. I like blue. Oh god, look at that. That's getting worse. I'm gonna have to take care of that. It was close, but the blue team emerged as the winner after a tense final lap. 
their triumphant charioteer makes a victory lap to the cheers of the ecstatic crowd. When he passes your seat, he bows his head as a sign of respect and gratitude. I know how to pick a winner. 50 gold, 50 prestige. Look at how, look at my gold. It's so bad. I'm in the negatives right now. Are these guys marching? Yeah, they are. It's just on slow right now, so. While, while it's on slow, let's take a look at my vassals. See if there's anybody we can get rid of. Count of Prudium, Benjamin. I can do something about that. Duchess of Ancona. Shouldn't she be... Oh, you know what? I'm the king of Italy, that's why. I was like, shouldn't she be a vassal of the king of Italy? I'm the king of Italy. Oh, this is rough. My yearly income needs to be higher. Huh, so... Am I, do I have the Duchy of Prudium? Uh, Latium? Spoleto. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything I can do about that. What if I went to my laws? Is there anything I can change in here? I like having my vice royalties too much. Maybe I could create another vice royalty? I mean, that would, um, that would help a little bit. And of course, we got an autosave going right now. Let's actually take a look. I can create four titles. That would really, really drain my money, though. Serbia, Alania, Wallachia. I do not. I really don't have the money to spend right now. So where are my troops? Here they are. Do we land? Oh, I need to do that. And then these guys. We land there. And what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna like carpet siege. I think that'll be good. Not sure where his armies are. I don't see anybody. Anybody important, at least. Let's split this army in half. Send the other half right down there. Split this army in half. Send half right there. And there we go. We're gonna do four sieges at once, I think, is a good idea. Oh, there's 13,000 men right there. Right there. Let's, um... Let's see what we can do about that. Send these two there. Oh, these guys ran away from me. What I would love to do is pincer them. Yeah, hit, hit them from one side and the, the front and the back at the same time. I want to make sure these guys are together before... beforehand. Kind of don't want... Oh, that's my voice, right? That's not me. I thought that was me for a second. All right, we won that. Oh god, are you kidding me? Where the hell was this one? I don't even know where that one is. Whoa! Did my army just get wiped out? What the fuck? Get back onto your ships. Where the hell did they come from? I don't, I still, I, what, what the fuck? Am I losing now? I seem to be losing pretty bad now. Yeah, 20,000 men right there. And I'm losing this battle too. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. How are we losing this badly? I, I just had like 10,000 men wiped out in two battles. Look, look at that. I lost 7,800 men. What the fuck? What the fuck happened? I, where's their army? Oh my god. This is awful. Like, I don't even see their armies anywhere. How do they just disappear like that? Oh, there it is, right there. Well, I'm fucked.
Well, mildly right now. Oh, I don't know if I'm if I'm feeling well enough to deal with this nonsense right now. And oh my god, these guys are gonna get wiped out. How are their armies just appearing out of nowhere? I usually can see them easily. These guys are gonna get wiped out. Oh god. I think that's all my troops. Oh, you know what? My retinue's probably gone too. Oh shit. Fuck. I'm fucked. My army's gone. Like I kind of figured that it would be impossible for them to march these ar these armies that size around because they would take huge attrition. And it looks like they are taking huge attrition, but not nearly as en enough that it's going to make that big of a difference. I've lost a lot of men. Those armies just appeared out of fucking nowhere. How many men can I get together? That's 16 and a half, that's 6. I might be able to save these guys, get them onto the ships here. What's the limit here? 46,000. Alright, let's send these guys over here. Maybe I can hire in a holy order. Now the holy orders are bankrupt in terms of manpo manpower. Everybody uses them, that's why. I've lost... what? A lot of... I've lost a lot of men. It's gonna cost me a fortune to get my retinue back. Yeah, I can't afford to break my men up. I just have to leave them here like this. I can't believe I lost that battle so badly. What caused me to lose that horrendously? 4,600 men to... Or, 7,400 men to, uh... To, to 1,400? Do I have any better men I can put in charge? Seventeen. That's a little bit better. All right, let's leave it like that. I mean, this is gonna be the 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 the, the only. If I win this battle, then then we'll be good. But if I don't, we're fucked. I did not think this war would go so poorly. Through somewhat dubious dubious province, uh, this duke uh, Duke of Diocles has presented me with evidence that the Baronberg is plotting treason against me. How should I respond to this? I do not think. I do not think that's actually what's going on there. When will he arrive? August 19th. So five more days. So we're going to sit here and wait for him. Hopefully the small... ...title that should rightfully be mine. It's the title Duchy of... Spoleto. Okay. Um, no. I think I'm going to hang on to that. This is going to get ugly. I feel like I'm going to lose this pretty badly. Yeah, like look how bad look how look how many casualties I'm taking on the flank here. Oh no. I feel like this is this is gonna go poorly, I, I think. I mean their center's folding, but my flanks are doing poorly, and if the flanks fold then it's over. Yeah, and we're starting I'm 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 already they've killed more men than I have so far. And my morale is lower. I've lost this battle already. Or have I? I don't know. Oh, their, their center just left. Both fl my flank collapsed. So now it's my center and my left attacking their flank. This is a rough battle. It's ugly. Oh my god. Jeez, okay, let's crank this up a little bit. This is lasting too long. We're gonna have to try to chase them down and wipe out this army. I took a... What the fuck? Where did those men come from? Oh, fuck. 
Did anybody see that army coming from anywhere at any point? Uh, well, this this war's over. I've I, I'm never I'm not even gonna be able to get these guys out. What little men I have left, I've I've oh my god, this is horrendous. I never thought this war would go so poorly. This is gonna cost me big time. It's gonna take a long time to recuperate from this. Oh shit. They're gonna arrive on the 5th of November. And I'm gonna spend most uh, and I'm gonna arrive on the 7th. So I've lost this army. I've lost all my armies. Wait, no, what the hell just happened? Well. The only thing I can do is, I guess, wait and try to recoup my losses and, re and, and get another army going. I never expected that to go so poorly. Never expected that to go so poorly. Oh my god. Retinue's gone. My personal levy's gone. My vassals are gone. Oh god, my husband was captured in battle. Oh fucking hell, I don't know what to do. I do not know what to do. I didn't. I, I don't know where the fuck their armies are coming from. Those 15,000 men just appeared out of nowhere. I won. I had that battle won, and just bam, their army just whoop, just came out of nowhere, and I fucking fucking lost it. Well, let's um, let's at least take care of these guys. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disband my all my armies. I don't want to. I don't even want to fight this war anymore. I just want to give in. Alright, so I would lose 100 piety, 100 prestige, and he would gain the duchy of Tripoli. I'm surprised that there's... I'm not getting more help from all the other people that are in this war. Especially you. He's got that big ass army sitting over there. Go fucking do something with it. March into their lands and do something about it. I probably shouldn't be playing this game when I'm this sick. Because I don't think I make smart decisions when I'm not thinking straight. Well, let's at least end this. Alright, that's over. And let's disband it. Oh my god. That's my ret that's what's left of my retinue. 770 men. Of the 8,600 men, that takes a very long time to re replenish and a lot of money. Oh, that's a big hit. That's a really big hit. I don't know. It, it would take me a very long time to recover from this. I'm going to spend the next 10 years recovering from this war, I think. I'm so shocked that it's gone so badly. Shocked. Hopefully the King of Aquitaine will march into Spain and and do something about this. Help, help, help me turn my my uh, the tide of the war around a little bit. Okay, I'm going to end this episode here. My voice is starting to fail me. So everyone, if you've enjoyed this episode, just drop me a like. Leave me a comment right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Crusader Kings 2, Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.